Happy Monday! Guys, it's a day in history. I flipped my omelet without breaking it. I'm so proud of myself. It kind of looks scary, but I'm so proud. My sidekick. Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and turn on my post notifications so that you don't miss an upload. So I'm currently getting ready. I'm starting a little weekly vlog because this week is going to be very busy. So I figured why not vlog it? Like busy in all the best ways. We have fun stuff going on. I'm getting ready right now because tonight I have a little dinner. So if you guys don't know, I have a manager. The company that I'm with is called The Sociable Society. I've been with them since 2019. So so it's been a while and a couple of girls that work for the sociable society like the PR girl and then one of the managers are in town they're in New York City so they're taking a few of us out to dinner a few of their creators so um, my friend Sam is also with them Sam Randazzo if you guys watch her videos she's coming so she's gonna come over and then we're gonna go into the city and meet them for dinner and then another girl named Morgan is gonna be there too I haven't met her before so that'll be fun and yeah i'm really excited today was kind of a slow day it was really rainy and i've just been like getting work done i feel like whenever i'm getting ready i'm in a rush because my time management is just fucked <laughs> but yeah it should be a fun week so i'm gonna bring you guys along i'm gonna finish getting ready right now and i'll show you guys the finished look and what outfit i decide to wear to dinner i just finished Getting ready, I'm gonna do a little OTD. I have on this top from Forever 21, I'm pretty sure. These pants are from White Fox. You can use code AMANDA for money off. My fake Dior bag. And these shoes are from Steve Muffin. Super cute. I never use this bag because I feel like a fraud. Got it on Canal Street, but my Fendi bag, that's real. I left it at my parents' house. And I feel like this one matches the vibe, so fuck it. Like the strap matches the fit perfect, so cute. I'm waiting on Sam to get here and then we're going to Uber into the city and have a fun little time. I'm excited and I'm really happy because it was downpouring all day and it stopped and now it's sunny out, so we're doing good. up early every single day and walk because it's so peaceful there's like no people because everyone's at work it's just so much better than doing it later in the day i literally made my mom call me this morning with a wake-up call because i keep sleeping through my alarms and i said call me until i'm out I've been working all day on my laptop. I just finished editing a video. I'm uploading it right now, but I'm just taking it kind of slow today and getting a lot of work done. I think I'm gonna get ready right now and do some brand deal stuff, but I got like super anxious. I don't know where I started this day off on like a really good foot, but then this man like came to my apartment. I don't even know. Basically there's like an app to let people in and out of my building and my mom has access to that app too. Normally it's like delivery people and she let him in and he could have been a delivery person. I don't know. I wasn't expecting a package, but he was like at my door. They normally don't bring the packages all the way up to my apartment door, but this man was at the door and he like kept saying my name and <laughs> It really freaked me out. I didn't answer the door. I act like nobody was home. If it was a package, hopefully they bring it back. I don't know. But he like kept saying my name and it was scaring me and he looked really scary and I'm like alone and I just didn't feel comfortable. So I did not answer the door. But after that, I just had like insane anxiety that happened like an hour ago and I've been like so anxious since. So yeah, I'm trying to like pull myself out of it. I just ate something and now I'm about to like do my makeup 
and stuff that really fucking freaks me out <laughs> that's that i'm just trying to get like a lot of work done today but that kind of freaked me out and i was gonna film but now i'm like not really in the mood to film so i think i might just do that tomorrow and i'm also exhausted anyways bye <laughs> Hey guys, it's a bit later. I'm about to organize my closet room. There's kind of just stuff thrown everywhere. Also, last week I got this clothing rack. Let me show you. It's from, I think I got it on Amazon. I'll link it, my storefront. I'm not really the biggest fan of it. Like it's really not that cute and it's kind of a piece of shit, but it was cheap and it'll do for what I need it to do, you know? I basically got it just to have new pieces separated and pieces that i like want to take pictures in or that i recently bought or like if i'm planning on going on a trip i want to like set and organize like my outfits here and i don't know i just i'm kind of using it as like an inspiration rack sort of thing the bottom is ugly because i have all my stuff that i need to list on poshmark which i keep putting off but yeah that's all just sitting there so it's kind of a mess but i'm going to hang up all of my new clothes from white fox because i have to film a white fox haul tomorrow so i'm gonna hang that all up right now but i started this clip because i wanted to tell you guys that i have my very first therapy session tomorrow morning and i'm really nervous <laughs> um i'm doing online therapy with better help i recently worked with them and i got a therapist through them so yeah it's my first call with her i've literally been putting it off i keep rescheduling it and getting really nervous about it but it's one tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. I'm really nervous like I don't know what we're gonna talk about. I also had a really up and down day today so I'm like extra anxious about it now but we'll see. Um, I'll let you guys know how that goes tomorrow but for now I'm gonna be here organizing these clothes. I'm trying to become like an omelet pro. So let's see if I can flip this. I just flipped my first omelet without breaking it for the first time the other day. So we're about to add feta, fuck. It's like the best part. She's not perfect, but she's good enough. Happy Wednesday, guys. Just me and my coffee. I have my first therapy session in like 25 minutes. And I'm so anxious about it, which is just like what I'm gonna be talking to her about. So it's just like weird. It's a weird feeling. I've never gone to therapy and I've been saying that I think that I should go to therapy for the longest time now, but it just makes me so nervous and so anxious because it's like, what if I don't like her? I also would almost rather do it in person. I feel like because you get to like see the, actually maybe not. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm, nervous about it but hopefully she just like asks me questions and takes the lead which i think she will we'll see now it goes and i'll let you guys know how i feel after i hope it goes well i'm literally gonna sit here and do my makeup while i talk to her because it's also like over the phone i'm pretty sure i don't think it's a facetime i think it's literally just a phone call which i hope because i'm literally planning on getting ready for the day as i speak to her because i have to film today cheers to fucking therapy guys so i just got done with my therapy call i'm really proud of myself because you don't know how bad i wanted to cancel you don't know how bad but i didn't and it actually went good talked about a lot of things with her the first like few sessions are basically like her getting to know me and just talking about things and figuring out you know stuff but obviously i'm not gonna like tell you guys like what we talked about because it's personal but i don't know it really honestly felt good i have a group chat on snapchat with my friends with drew maddie and carly and i literally sent them a video and i was about to be like that was really therapeutic and then i stopped myself i was like wait no fucking shit it was therapy but i don't know i feel like this is a really good step in the right direction for me because i definitely have some things that i haven't like fully processed that i've gone through that like affect my life like subconsciously like i'm over the things that have happened but like they low-key affect my day-to-day life 
life still even though like over the actual situation it's like the side effects of situations if that makes any sense but yeah that was good now i'm gonna finish my makeup and then i'm filming a haul today i have all my new clothes from white fox hung up here i organized everything last night therapy is done now it's time to work baby okay bye <laughs> here is the little setup for the haul so cute i'm gonna go film see ya i finished filming my haul and cleaned up my apartment I also brought some of the pants that I got in the haul to get tailored. So yeah, I just packed up my things and now I'm going to go to my parents' house. I'm sleeping there tonight because tomorrow morning I have a hair appointment over in my hometown and I'm gonna get dinner with my family tonight also. So yeah, this is my little fit. I literally have been living in these jeans. You know, when you just like find a pair of jeans that fit you absolutely perfectly and then you can't stop wearing them. That's these jeans. They're from Revolve. I'll link them down below. I did get them tailored on the waist and the length, but they're the comfiest jeans ever. And he did such a good job tailoring the back. Like you can't even tell that they're tailored and they literally just like fit me perfect. So I'm obsessed with these. This top's from White Fox. You can use code AMANDA in all caps for 15% off site-wide. And my shoes are Converse, bag, Urban Outfitters. I'll try to link everything that I mentioned in this down below. I always feel so bad leaving them, but like at least they have each other. I leave out food and stuff and they seem to be fine. It's literally for one night, so I'm dramatic. Literally. The best part about being home. No offense to my family. But me with my babies. Right, Rock? I'm about to go outside to play with the puppy and Nick's girlfriend, Emily, brought over her dog who's younger. So they're gonna play. They're having a play date. So this is gonna be really cute. If you like animals, stay tuned. <laughs> it was like the opposite yesterday. Oh, oh. bye bye. <laughs> oh. Okay. oh my God. Oh my god! You show up. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that was so cute. <laughs> that was so cute. Oh. Hi. Oh. 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 I come home and I get treated like royalty. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. She goes. Do you want to run a little bath of a, what'd you say? Bowl. A bath of a bowl? It doesn't even make sense. And she's giving me a pedicure. As I read my book. <laughs> when did I become the, the book? Because I can't fucking stand your toenails. You're <laughs> she, lazy. What do you mean? They're done. They're just purple. Why didn't you get a pedicure? Because I'm a busy working girl. Your toes need to look good. Yeah, they do. Ow! <laughs> Then you complain that I hurt you. Look at these fucking toes. <laughs> Wait, actually, I shouldn't be showing my feet on the internet like this. I could be charging big bucks for this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Gotta go. I'm editing body. Good morning guys, it's the next day. I'm going to get my hair cut right now. I'm getting a glaze too, I think, just to give her some shine, I don't really know, we'll see. But I'm on my way. Today's gonna be a great day. We have an event later tonight with Revlon and a few of my friends are going, so it's just gonna be super fun. I'm only gonna get a trim also for my hair. It's not gonna be like a huge change, but she's a little dead, so she needs a little revive. So I'm excited to like have my hair nice and blown out. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay. We're doing a little glaze and then we're gonna do a haircut. They look really cute like this, I think. Just got my hair done. It looks so nice. I'm obsessed. We just did a glaze to kind of like brighten up the color. I feel like it looks darker now and I love that. It feels so much better. It was feeling so dry and dead and now she's back to life and it's so shiny. I'm gonna drive back to my apartment and I kind of need to hurry up because it's two o'clock and I have an event five in the city. 
I feel like I have enough time. Guys, I just got home and I got a PR package that I needed to show you guys because I'm so excited about it. Freaking MAC Cosmetics. Guys, I literally have been obsessed with MAC since I'm so young. I remember when I was like 12, 13 years old, I would watch beauty gurus on YouTube and I was obsessed with MAC lipsticks. Like I had a goal to collect like as many MAC lipsticks as possible. And the fact that I'm on their PR list now is crazy to me. I'm just so grateful and I just, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos and making things like this possible. And it's just crazy that I'm like, want it like what the fuck they sent me their new powder kiss velvet blur slim lipsticks and all the colors look so pretty and i'm so excited to try them but this is just so cool i'm so excited i'm about to freshen up change and get ready for my event that i have in a couple of hours so i'll show you guys what outfit i end up wearing and all of that okay i just finished freshening up this tops from white fox love it you can use code amanda in all caps for money off these pants are from motel rocks and then i have it on with my mochas I haven't worn these in a hot minute and this bag is from princess polly it's the brand naked vice it's kind of old um so i don't know if they still sell it i love my hair i'm so happy with it also i'm wearing one of the new mac lipsticks it's the stay curious color it's like this berry color which is really pretty and i mixed it with charlotte tilbury pillow talk and then i'm gonna put you guys on right now to the best lip gloss literally out there on the market right now that's really dramatic but i really love this this is the brand i don't really know how to pronounce that but i'm gonna try to find a link to this because it's the best i think i got it in an ipsy box literally i don't think that i've ever tried a lip gloss and that makes my lips look this glossy before like they shine even in the dark it's crazy i'm not kidding like literally in the dark you guys gotta try it i'm gonna leave in a little bit to go i'm really excited for this event because i know people going this is like so fun because when i first started going to events i never knew anybody like i would bring my mom with me or a friend because i just didn't know anyone i don't even have a plus month tonight but now i actually have other creator friends who are invited to the same events and it's so fun like all meeting up to go to these events together and like we're experiencing the same things together which is really cool it's gonna be a fun night i'm really excited let's go are you taking you have an already guest Hey guys, I just got back from the event. It was so fun and so cute. Thank you, Revlon. I have paint everywhere. <laughs> no, it really was like such a cute event. It was so much fun. I painted this. It's really bad, but it's okay. Um, tried my best. Painting is so fun. It was like really therapeutic and relaxing and just like a good vibe. And they gave little goodie bags of a bunch of different lip products. Shout out Revlon. Love you guys. What a fun day. I love today. Today was a good ass day. I woke up at my parents' house to their little kitten Theo in my face. That's literally how I woke up at 7 o'clock this morning. And it was the best way to wake up possible. And then I got my hair done. I came here, went to the event. Like, I don't know. It just was a good day. So, I'm happy. Yay. All right. I'm going to take a body shower and get into some pajamas and read and edit for the rest of the night and just relax. Because I'm exhausted. So... Friday guys I am going to get my eyelashes done right now because I'm going to the Hamptons tomorrow and I figured it would be nice to have my eyelashes done but I actually am so stupid I've talked about this before but every time that I drink coffee before going to get my eyelashes done my eyes uncontrollably twitch the entire time and I accidentally drank coffee this morning because I forgot that I had this appointment and now I'm terrified that my eyes are gonna do that the entire time we'll see but I'm gonna go right now and I will let you guys know if it's a bad experience or not stay tuned i just got out of my lash appointment they look really good i don't know if you could really see and i feel like i just look fucking crazy right now because i also fell asleep um during that my eye didn't twitch too badly update on that um it was actually fine this time thank god but the girly decided to get some glue in my eye 
which was really fun for me and burned really bad and I thought I was gonna go blind, but it's okay. We're alive and I can see. My eye's still red, I think, but these are the lashes. Perfect, amazing angle, I know, but yeah, they look pretty fucking fire if I do say so myself. I'm gonna go home now, <laughs> bye. Guys, today has been a very boring day. I've just been editing all day long and I just packed for the Hamptons because I'm going there tomorrow. But I just got this print in the mail and frame, so I want to show you. It's literally so cute, it's huge. It says, ways to say I love you and then it gives 75 different ways. And it's so adorable, I love it. I'm gonna hang it up, I think, over here, but not right now because I don't have the time. I'm about to drive to my parents' house and sleep there and then go to the Hamptons tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna end this vlog here and start a new one tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoy thank you guys so much for watching i love you all to the minute back and i'll talk to you guys in my next video Mwah.